guys, wanna go for a swim later? Sure. Cool. Stop. If people carry on polluting, you won't be able to swim or go near the beach at all. In fact, if we keep polluting, shore and marine life such as seagulls and even orcas may become extinct in the next few years. And scientists have found new astounding evidence that fish could be extinct by 2048. Marine pollution is actually a really big problem and the reason why it's a big problem really comes down to human nature. It's something they call the tragedy of the commons and that is that human beings, because of their nature, they don't seem to want to take individual responsibility for something that's a common resource. The sea is a common resource, we use it for all sorts of things and we rely on it but we don't seem to feel in any individual responsibility for it. So that's the root of the problem. How do we get people to take personal responsibility for their use of the sea? It's a big question. I don't know the answer. I guess it comes down to think global and act local, which is an easy phrase to say, but how do we put that into action when it comes to how we manage the sea? But it's not only fish and birds that are getting affected by pollution. In the Caribbean, coral covering reefs has significantly decreased from 55% 35 years ago to just 10% in 2001. But it's not all bad news. If people start picking up rubbish and competing in beach cleanups around New Zealand, the world will become a better place. For information on coastal cleanups in this area, go to www.sustainablecoastlines.org. And remember, stop polluting and keep it clean, keep it green.